Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Magnix Software. So this is Sushma Java Trainer. Uh, so in this video, I would like to discuss about classes and objects in Java. Today my topic is classes and objects. So let us see the definition of class, definition of object and what is the syntax. So let us see here classes and objects. So see here, first of all, I would like to discuss about a definition of class. So what is a class? A class is a blueprint. A class is a blueprint. Or we are having another definition. A class is a combination of group of objects. A class is a combination of combination of group of objects group of objects and the third definition is or you can say like this also a class which does not exist which does not exist physically in the real world physically in the real world in the real world so this is the definition of a class either you can say it as a class is a blueprint or you can say a class is a combination of group of objects or a class which does not exist physically in the real world so what is the meaning of a blueprint what is the meaning of a blueprint see for example if you are constructing any building first of all you need to uh, take a blueprint of the building so where you want to keep the kitchen where you want to keep the lift where you want to keep the stairs so you are giving some ideology it is nothing but a blueprint so that is the best example why we are calling it as a blueprint some ideology okay so or a class is a combination of group of objects why because for single class you can create any number of objects okay and class which does not exist physically in the real world okay so let us see the syntax how we can represent a class so when you are representing any class first of all we need to write down class and we need to write down class name we need to write down a class name so class contains variables and methods what the class can contain variables and methods so class contain variables and methods so this is the syntax to represent a class okay now you people know about what is a class and how to represent a class let us see what is the definition of an object let us see the definition of object so what is the object an object is an object is in a stance of class an object is in a stance of a class or we are having another definition also an object which can exist physically in the real world see class means which does not exist physically in the real world but object means which can exist physically in the real world so an object which can exist which can exist physically in the real world physically in the real world so this is nothing but what we are calling it as an object so let us see the syntax how we can write down the syntax for object so previously we have seen the syntax of class so class name first of all whatever the class name we have given we need to mention class name then you need to create you need to create object name by using new operator so by using this new operator you are creating your object name for the user defined class name so new class name so this is the syntax to represent your object okay 
if you want to call any variable in the class then we have to write down the syntax like this object name dot variable name whatever the variable you are declared within the class that variable will be called by using object name so here you are taking variable name object name dot variable name in the same way if you want to call any method which is present in the class so then we have to write down object name dot method name so whatever the method you have declared in the class so you need to call that method by using object name dot method name so now we can see one real time example what is exactly class and what is exactly object so let us assume car is a class see car is a word but car which does not exist physically in the real world see when you are explaining what is a car means it is a four wheeler it has a steering okay it has a engine so it is like a blueprint okay but car which does not exist physically in the real world but it contain a group of objects and car is a word which does not exist physical in the real world so you are considering car as a class okay so now what is object object is nothing but which can exist physical in the real world so if you are taking audi audi is a car which can exist physical in the real world and bench which can exist physical in the real world or um, tata which can exist physical in the real world and uh, innova okay innova and um, range rover okay so all these are the cars which are exist physical in the real world so that is the reason all these things will be call it as an uh, objects okay in the same way we can say flower flower is a class actually flower is flower which does not exist physical in the real world but lotus lily rose so all these are the flowers which can exist physical in the real world in the same way we can say that ice cream ice cream is a class it is a word which does not exist physical in the real world but the flowers which are present in the ice cream they can be existed in the real world so that is nothing but um, uh, vanilla flower or butterscotch flower or um, uh, pista so these are the flowers which are exist physical in the real world okay so like that we can define classes and objects okay by using this classes on the objects we can develop one program okay like i want to take person details for suppose person name and person id i would like to take person name and person id so by using that we can write down the program now so let us see here guys how we can write down the program for class and object now we can see the program for classes and objects i'm taking the person details okay so if you are defining any class class name first of all we have to write down class class name i was writing class name called person so this is my class name this is my class name now class contain variables what type of variables it can contain it can contain in a stands variables so i was created int id and string name so these two can be call it as an in a stands variables what we are calling it as an in a stands variables in a stands variables so now if you want to call this variables we need to create one method so void so i don't want to return any value so that is the reason before method name i am writing it as a void so void show method method name can be anything so i was uh, taking to print the id and name value onto the screen so that is the reason i am writing show method and i am not passing any parameters into the method okay so this can be call it as an method what we are going to call it as an method so here i would like to write down system dot why because i want to print id and i want to print the name also so that is the reason system dot out dot print ln of i want to print person id what i want to print here person id so plus whatever the id you are taking so you need to print id value here okay so again i want to print the name of the person so that is the reason i am writing system dot out dot 
print L N of so person name. What I am writing here, person name. I want to print the person name onto the screen. So that is the reason I am taking person name plus what is the variable I have given name. Okay. So this is the method. Show is nothing but a method. Okay. And here the method will be closed and class will be closed. So what the class can contain? The class can contain variables and uh, methods. Okay. Now you need to create object to this person class. So that is the reason you need to create main method class. So class some demo. So when you are saving your Java file, you need to save the Java file name file with demo. Okay. Now you need to write down the main method. So public static void main of string args this is our main method so string args this is our main method now you need to create object to this person class so person p is equal to anything you can take it p or p p1 p2 p4 anything you can take it person p is equal to new person so by using new operator you are creating p as object to the person class by using this object you need to call the variables id and name so p dot object name dot variable name what is the object p is the object what is the variable name id so p dot id is equal to some 11 so 11 is nothing but the id of the person okay and in the same way p dot what is the another variable i have given name okay so p dot name equal to i was giving here some john okay i am giving here some john okay now you are passed values into the variables by using person class object okay now you need to print id and name onto the screen so that is the reason i am writing here p dot show method which method we are writing here p dot show method when you call see object name dot method name so when you call this method it will print person id as 11 and it will print person name as john so in this way we can create classes and objects so for further videos please like share and subscribe magnic software